Hey everybody here, this is Glenn. And okay, I'm on the Aurora Model Motoring brand new group page that I created the other day. And I'm gonna get ready to wire up my layout. Now I haven't got my track yet that I need for the section and I can show you where that's at. I already shown a picture, but um, I'll show you where that, you know, where that section is that needs to be put in. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get this thing wired anyway so that when I get that section of track then I can get this layout completely running, make sure the cars go all the way around with no issue and see how we can do with that. So, all right, so first off, what I wanna do is I am going to place a hole because I need to pull a wire up through because I need to wire up two, section of, two sections of the track. I'm gonna start with wiring here. This is the main terminal track and the power pack's right down below. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and wire up the second terminal I've got out in the track. Let me just go ahead and pull up a power pack here so I can get this so I can show you what needs to go where. Um, hopefully you can see that and make sure okay, I don't have this good. So it's not plugged in yet. That's good. I don't need it plugged in just as of yet. All right. So. Let's see what we've got here, and we have got this section of track, and my control is right here. All right, so how this works is, um, let me go ahead and take this apart for you, just so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so I can show you what I have to do. All right, so here is the two wires coming from both controllers. There's number two, control number one, okay? And what you do is, you have two wires coming off the controller, and what you do is you take two of the wires from the controller and you wrap them together. And what you're gonna do is I'm gonna move this down out of the way so it's not in my way, so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, let's get this up out of the way. We'll take this one and put it back down underneath. So, all right, so you take the two wires come from each controller and you wrap them together. You've got another set that go over here to the terminal. I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this and put it around the screw. Let me get this and I'm gonna need to connect over here again when I'm running to the other side of the track um, for the, um, oops, let's get this open a little more for the other terminal track, but for now let's get this wired this way okay so all right so you wrap those wires around make sure you wrap them good because you don't want them to touch you don't want to have the you know any shorts or anything just run your screwdriver down through just to make sure there's nothing touching no you know any bare wires that may have uncoiled off of what you did okay yeah we'll get this tightened up Okay, so now we got that wired up right there. Okay, now what you're gonna do next is now see this is what's cool about the model motoring stuff is you did all your own wiring. The sets that you get nowadays, the controllers come with a plug already on them. You just plug it down in, and that's simple as that. And they're not as good as the stuff that you can get for the model motoring. Um, that's why I like using the model motoring stuff because it works better. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is. Um, all right, so right down and I know you can't see this, but down underneath here, I've got my wires coming up through. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pull up and I wanna see which can wire is going to which controller. And, okay. So let's follow this wire and see which controller we have. All right, so this is controller number one. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just take these wires and just it's bare on the ends here, just twist it. And now what you have to do is, now if you notice, I don't know if you can, see, so let me turn on the light here, maybe you can see this a little better. Um, yeah, it's gonna lighten it up too much, here we go. Right here, I've got a wire jump from number one to number three, and you have to have that in there, and it's the same on the other track out there, the other terminal wired the same. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this wire from the first controller, and you're gonna come here to screw number two, and you're gonna loosen the screw up. 
You don't need to take it all the way out, just enough to get the wire under it. And you're gonna take your wire and wrap it around. Make sure that it's not able to touch anything. And now you just screw this terminal down. Make sure it's good and tight. Okay, so that one's all set. Just check your connection. And then you're gonna loosen number four. And we'll loosen this one up. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the other wire from the other controller. And let's see where that wire comes up through. It's a little dark under here, so. Okay. I think I found it. Yep, okay. So here's the other controller wire. And I just put a hole down through the table to pull these up through. That way it looks neater. You could run it off just right here off the edge of the table, but I like it to look neater. You know, it makes it look more professional when you do it this way. So let me just go ahead and get this tightened down. Okay. So now I've done that far. And now I need to get power from the transformer. And let's see what wire we have coming off of. The transformer looks to me like it's, yeah, the brown and white, right? No, orange and white. Okay. So I'm going to look for the orange and white wire coming up through the table here. And just see what's here. I need the orange and, yep. All right. So here's the orange and white wire. Now I'm going to refer to my manual real quick here. And I just want to see, okay. So what you're going to do with that wire coming off the transformer here, you're going to connect it up to number one where you got the jumper wire going from one to three. And what this does is this allows power to go from the transformer from one to three so that it powers both lanes. Like uh, you, you got two metal lanes here and you've got, um, you've got to get power to that other rail. So that's why they've got a wire here going from one to number three. So it jumps that power over so that that other lane gets power. If you didn't put that jump wire in, you're not going to get any power out to that other lane. And you don't want that. You want to be able to get power to both. So let's just go ahead and get this wire up. All right. Now I'm using Cat5 computer wire because most of you that know me know I'm a computer tech. So I use up, I use my computer wire. Here, we'll get this pulled up through a little more so I can get enough. So I've just got the orange and white wire and I've wrapped them together so that I make, you know, I get a little bit more wire and a little bit thicker wire. And I'm going to wrap this right here around one. And I'm going to make sure that I wrap it all the way around so that it makes a good connection and you're not going to short anything out. Okay. So right now, this lane should be, this should be wired up to run at least what I've got so far. All right, so let me get some power to this transformer and let's test the car. Okay, so now we got power going to the track and let's turn it on. Yep, got a hum of the transformer, we're all set. Okay, so we're going to test these lanes and just see if we can power to the track real quick. Okay, we got power to that lane. Yep. Let's clean the track up, of course, but... All right, let's test the other lane to make sure that we're getting power on the other lane. And... Yep, this needs to be cleaned up, but... Yes, yeah, you're ready to go. Okay. So now we'll get that other power terminal hooked up out on the, out on the other side there, and we'll be done. Okay, be back in a second. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an... Draw another hole down through the table here because I need to get um, power. I need to get that wire down through the table here. Let's just pull that wire down out of the way. Okay, we'll set that down. So what I'm going to do is when I wire this, I'm going to run wires from here to the other terminal exactly like I have here. And another, another wire from the transformer with the controllers. Well, actually, I think those can stay. Um, I need to get power to the other side. So, all right, so let's get this wired up and we'll see how it goes. All right. So we're just going to pop a hole right down through the table right here. Make sure I'm not going to be close to any wires. 
Ooh. All right, so we've got a hole going down through. Okay, so now we've put a hole, and we're going to feed the wire up through, and let's get this side wired up. All right, feed this right up through. Let's get this where I can see it. If you guys don't know, you know, if you never had a slot contract before, or if you remember having one as a kid, this is just so much fun to do. If you're into racing as much as I am, um, then you'd want to have your own slot car track in your house to be able to just, when you're not, when racing's not, you know, when the weekend's not here and then there's no racing on and you got that fever and you want to, you know, at least not, if you don't see, watch any racing, um, you know, you get some family members and friends that want to come over and race. Hey, you know, why not, right? You have so much fun just getting some friends to come over and you can have a blast just racing, you know? And that's what it's all about. All right, so let's take the brown this time. And we'll just, we're going to need to run all the wires over. So all right, I'm going to get this section wired okay, up. Okay, now I'm back. And I've got wires all stripped here. And let's just go ahead and make a connection here. All right, so you want to keep these color coded the same. Now, they don't show you in the manual how to do this. So this is something you have to do on your own. And now we've got a power wire going from, let me turn off the transformer. Power wire going from the right side of the transformer goes to number one. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you color code the wires the same. So when you go to that other terminal, you're going to connect it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this side of the... It don't matter where you do it from for the power coming from the transformer. I'm going to do it from right here at the terminal track. It'll be a lot easier because i got two wires I'm going to use to go from the, the controller wires over to that other terminal track. All right, so let's just loosen this up enough so we get enough space to put this under. And let's get this, see if we can get this wrapped underneath. All right, so let's get this in there and see if it's tight enough. Go ahead and tighten her down. See if that wire is going to hold. Okay, I think we got it. Nope. See, that's you got to be careful. You got to make sure you get it all the way under because if you don't, you know what? Let's take both of these off. And let's just, I'm going to go ahead and wrap both sides together. That way, I know it'll be all the way under and it won't be a problem. So let's do this. All right, so these are the two. We're going to use the same color code, orange and white, white, orange. I mean, yeah, orange and then orange, white. So let's just get these so that they're even in length. And okay. So let's just wrap those together. And now I'm dealing with just one set of wires to wrap around that screw. And let's just get that underneath. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and get that. And see if that's going to be good. Okay, there we go. So now we've got a nice tight connection. All right, so now I just want to make sure that I'm going to use the same to, for the controllers. All right, so we'll be back in a second. So now I'm going to work on this terminal, which is right under here. And I'm going to put a little bit of light on the subject here. If I can do that, see if that'll kind of help out a little bit. All right, so I need to get some light under here. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take out a section of track here so I have room to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this curve right here and um, get this section replaced all right so let's just go ahead and we'll take this section right out okay so now we've opened it up as you can see so that now I can get to the terminal track and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and 
probably remove another section right this curve right here all right so now I've opened that up completely so now I can get to where I need to get to and work on this we'll move these out of the way all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a hole and let me just grab my drill real quick here all right so we need to have a hole coming up through for the wires so what we'll do is we'll just pop a hole like right here next to it I guess will be fine okay so there we go so we pop the hole down through and that's out of the way and now let's go ahead and we'll run the wire up through and we'll get it wired so now we finished putting the wire up through and I didn't need to show you that in the video I'm sure you can figure that one out yourself and okay so now we want to make sure we wire this correctly and remember on the other side I had the orange and white wire was my power so that's going to go here to terminal number one so let's get this screw loosened up and we'll get this put here okay so we want to power up the track so we're going to go ahead and wrap that right around there make sure it's underneath there really good okay now we'll go ahead and we'll tighten that screw up I just want to make sure that I get it good and tight okay good solid connection there yep okay so let's go ahead and we'll loosen up number two and now this is going to be um, to lane two I believe but I don't remember off the top of my head, but let's go ahead. Okay, so this is going to be the green and white. So let's go ahead and push that down through. And let's go ahead and get the green and white connected. Okay. And then we'll just kind of hold that in place with that finger. All right. That's good and tight. Now let's go ahead and we'll um, get this other last controller wired up and we should be good to go. We can run a test on the track and see if it's working and once I get that other section tomorrow, now guess what, I'm going to do some mega racing, me and my wife, so she's excited, she's ecstatic, can't wait to race. We got a whole bunch of cars. I got to get my other cars out and get those all oiled up and running. And yep, we are going to have a blast. Can't wait for that. Yeah, any of you guys on here on the page, if you you know no one yet, well, actually, Michelle's brother Steve, it's part of the group here. Uh, Steve, what? That's Michelle's brother. He's coming over. I got him the um, Mark Five Speed Racer mobile to race with. He wants to race with that. So. Hey, he's good to go. I got him the car that he wanted. He was shocked when I came up with it, but it's ready. So, all right. Now, I'll give this thing a... Let me put this section of track back together, and then we'll, right, now we'll test. And we're going to test this track and see if it's wide properly. Now, we did the first time, and you saw that the car does run. So, let's just get controls up here, and we'll give it a test, make sure that both lanes are working. And let's give it a try. If it's done right, it'll it'll work properly. I'll help with that. Okay, let's make sure we have the right direction out here on the track. Yeah, let's say it's wired properly. It's on the first lane, anyways. Got some. Got to run cleaner over here, clean the track up a little bit, but yep. And we'll test the other lane, and we're good to go. awesome we are ready to race one more thing before I go this right here these cars do require to be oiled on the bottom there's a spot right here in the center that you oil it and they'll tell you to put oil on the axles um, you just put a little tiny drop this bottle of oil now the original stuff that Aurora made and I'll post a picture of it um, was a special racing oil that they made and um, this I bought off of eBay, off a guy, and it's a synthetic liquid bearing oil. 
and I like it. And this whole bottle here is going to last me, oh God, forever. I won't run out of this stuff. It's cheap. It's only like six bucks, six something, close to seven bucks. So, all right, that's all. There's the oil I use, a nice um, synthetic oil to oil these cars with, and we're ready to race. We're just waiting for that one section of track, and that's going to be that. And let me just show you what section's missing. Just take this out of here real quick. And I just want to come around to the other side right here. And it's right here, between here and here. That is my section that is missing. So once I get that section tomorrow, I'll get that in and we'll be good to go. All right, so that's it. Hey, I'm glad you guys are liking my page. Give me some more members on this page. And I'm hoping that some people that um, see it online will join. Get some people from Model Motoring over here that have these sets. And let's get some videos and pictures going. All right, see you, everybody. Have a great night. And thanks for joining my group.